Critical Thinking Rule 14. Seek informed sources. An informed source is one that has lots of information about the claims that they're making. In order to determine whether a source is informed, you should ask yourself, what are the source's qualifications? As well, ask yourself, are the source's qualifications relevant to the particular claim being made? For example, Neil deGrasse Tyson is an astrophysicist, so he would be an appropriate source when asking questions about astronomy, astrophysics, or astronomical cosmology, for example. However, he might not be an expert about other things he could be asked about, such as politics or economics or any other a wide variety of issues. So make sure that if you're getting information from a source, their area of expertise matches the area of the information that they're providing. Another tip to determine whether a source is informed is that informed sources often don't just make claims or assertions, but they can also provide evidence and arguments to back up or justify the information that they have. Let's look at a sample problem. Is Joe Rogan an informed source? First, note that this is a separate question from whether his guests are informed. So the question of whether Joe Rogan is an informed source about claims that he makes is a separate question from whether particular guests he has are informed sources about the claims that they're making. Secondly, note that a source can be informed about some things and not about others. So his guests might make a variety of claims some of which they are informed sources about, other claims they're not informed sources about. So you cannot answer this question globally. You have to break it down by guest and by the particular claims that they're making. But let's focus on the general question of whether Joe Rogan himself is an informed source. So we need to distinguish between the things he's informed about and the things he's not informed about. What do you think would be areas where Joe Rogan is an informed source? Here's a list that I came up with. He did practice Taekwondo a lot uh, when he was younger and I think still now. So he probably would be an informed source when it comes to Taekwondo. And he also knows a lot about mixed martial arts in general and to a lesser degree, maybe about other specific types of martial arts. He's been a commentator um, at the uh, UFC, I believe, for decades. So he's definitely an expert about that topic as well. He also is a professional stand-up comic, so he probably knows a lot about stand-up comedy. He's done a lot of television shows like Fear Factor, so he probably knows a lot about TV presenting and production and maybe about the entertainment industry as a whole to a certain extent. And finally, he's a very successful podcaster, so he probably knows a lot about podcasting. But what things would he be a not informed source about? Well, here's a partial list. If he talks about politics or history or medical or health claims or maybe things from science generally, depending on the particular topic, he's not going to be an informed source about that. So it doesn't mean everything he says about those issues is false, but he doesn't have the same expertise. So it doesn't create as powerful an argumentative effect to cite him as the source for those other types of claims. Next up, rule 15, seek impartial sources. 